Good morning from Fort Park where the sun is shining and it's the first day of the 2024 season. So a few days ago we had a tour around the park with Russ and we checked out all of the sparkle projects that have come in 2024 but today we're back for the opening day. Looking forward to getting back on all of our favourite rides today. Stealth, the Yay. Swarm, it's a lovely day for it as well. Park hours are 10am through until 6pm. As much as we saw all them updates a few days ago, there's a few bits that we didn't get to see, things that were still being finished off. We'll have more of a look at the merchandise today as well and just ultimately soak up the atmosphere of opening day we should see big easy boulevard more finished off now which we're looking forward to and of course get some more views of hyperia set to open later this spring it looks massive when you pull into the car park it looks fantastic i'm just so excited to get on it couple of months to go until we're yeah. going to be riding it i think but you know what hopefully soon we'll see testing taking place and that's really going to build up the excitement for the uk's tallest and fastest roller coaster let's go make our way inside the park Blue skies and sunshine, and it's great to be heading back into the park just here. And of course, you've got the Wraithy Ball Wide on YouTube. You've got the new logo just up there as well for the rebrand for this year. And actually painted up all of the entrance archway, which is looking really nice and fresh. And there's the new logo in various different colour combinations appearing on the screen. The UK's most thrilling theme park. I would still like to see some big changes come to the entrance at some point in the future. I know they've had a lot of sparkle projects throughout the rest of the park this year, which is good to see. But for next year, I'd love to see this whole entrance plaza change. I feel like it really needs it moving forwards. Oh, and here from the entrance bridge, you get an awesome view looking out at Hyperia. Look how it's changed the skyline here at Thorpe Park. 236 foot tall. And you got a saw that looks quite small now right next to it there, at exactly 100 feet. It's really nice at this angle though, with the water in the foreground and Hyperia only later this year in the background. So we've got the new park map for this year and it's nice to see that Hyperia's on there. And there you go, you've got the train coming out of the lift deal there as well. Fantastic. Lovely. And you open it, there's a little bit of facts about Hyperia as well. And then we've got the full park map. Try and hold it because of the wind. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit breezy today. There you go, nice park map just there, which is quite clear, I think, with all the different yeah. pathways around. Of course, Hyperia down there in the bottom left. Park's also just launched a new soundtrack here at the entrance. I noticed it was a bit slower kind of down at the main entrance and then it changed when we got up here onto the bridge. Be a bit more dramatic as we're walking over and getting them awesome views of the new skyline here at Thorpe Park. Always love coming out of the dome and seeing this awesome view, looking out over the park. Hyperia there off to the left hand side, Colossus and Saw, Destinator, Nemesis Inferno, Tidal Wave, Stealth, and of course, the swarm just over there. And I think that's gonna be our first stop of this morning. Well, it's just gone 10 o'clock and they've opened up the holding areas into the rest of the park. We was planning on going to the swarm first, but uh, yeah, there's a couple of staff there saying that uh, it's not gonna be open yet. So we'll go and check out another area first instead. So we've just come around the corner and made our way over here to Stealth. And this isn't open yet either this morning. However, we did mention it was a bit windy and yeah, it certainly feels like that could be why these aren't open yet. So yeah, not the park's fault with the weather. Looks really nice with the sunshine and blue skies, but if them winds are too strong, obviously they can't operate. So uh, they're sending test cycles here on Stealth and we'll see if it opens or not. It's just open, so yeah, we're queuing up for this for our first ride of the day. Yeah, shame about the uh, wind this morning, but hopefully it drops off a little bit this afternoon for the swarm and stealth. I'm not too sure if saws open this morning or not. Yeah, we'll head out here on to Nemesis Inferno and start off with this. All the nice buildings painted up here in Big Easy Boulevard, and we'll have more of a detailed look around the area later on. Yeah, you can see it now, especially around this corner. Woo, it is a bit windy. We've been waiting for about 25 minutes so far. Yeah, we're about five minutes away from the station. There's Destinator, the new audio on there is nice and loud. We're going to check that out a little bit closer later on in the vlog. Always love this view from the queue line though for Nemesis Inferno looking out over the coaster. And the swarm has now opened as well. And they did decide to open stealth, and we know some fans of the channel have just commented on our Facebook post saying that they had a rollback on there. So if we had a way in about, we might have had a rollback. Oh, hey, that was made it. Cycling trains again. Now they've also actually added some new announcements just before you head into the station. Just give me a bit of information. 
appreciate it. I wait to put your bag and put the harness down, which will hopefully speed up the throughput. It's here on Navarro's Inferno. Let's go and ride. I have such a soft spot for Nemesis Inferno. It's such a great ride. It hasn't got the intensity like Nemesis Reborn, Alton Towers, but it's a fantastic coaster. You can really feel the speed on there. It opened here in 2003 and it's definitely got better over the years. Really enjoyed getting back on there. Some really nice elements. That first drop's awesome, especially towards the back of the train, all over the loop. Uh, the interlocking core screws, which are iconic on there as well. Uh, but no, it's a great ride. We didn't get any mist in the tunnel at the start, but to be honest, I don't mind today because it's quite chilly actually. Yeah, like don't let the sun <laughs> deceive you. Like it's quite nippy. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a chilly one today, and that's the thing with the wind as well. It makes it feel cooler. It uh, but no, it was really nice getting back on there. Uh, the Eagle Eye viewers may also have noticed that also they've started to replace some of the wheel covers on there as well. They kind of uh, not got the fire effect on some of the new ones, and they're like black and red. So yeah, you might have seen that in the footage just with Nemesis Inferno going round. Oh, he's just come round the corner and South has literally just reopened. 10 minute wait just here. And yeah, it did roll back this morning. Of course, perfectly safe is designed to do that. We're well, always white ones, it's 2006. I'll be wanting to roll back in here, so yeah, we'll uh, head in. But you never know. But yeah, it's good to get back on here. We saw it just go around the first train and thought, let's get straight in. So yeah, we've done all right here. 10 minute wait. That's the thing, if you drop on some of these openings sometimes, once the ride just finished its testing, you know, you don't have to wait that long at all. Yeah, look at this. 10 minutes will be on. Oh, Hyperion on the screen as well. Exciting. Great views of the swarm from down here in this queue line. Good to see that back in action. Doesn't feel as windy now either, which is good. It's just this morning, and that's the thing. Weather can't be helped. The rides were ready to go. We saw them cycling. It was just that wind preventing them from opening to the public. But now at least they're in action now. Looks like everything's up now. I don't think Colossus is though, but um, Saw is as well. I'm not too sure if that home straight away this morning or not. Um, yeah, from looking on the app, that's now available. But of course, we saw this when we had that tour around with Rust the other day. But it starts looking really fresh with all the repaint. I think the stage is looking great there, painted blue and red. And you've got the new signage on the side here as well. Model, altitude and speed, loving that. Oh, we thought we were going to be in for a nice quick ride there with it reopening. We've now been waiting for 45 minutes. I mean, the ride's been down now um, for about 40 minutes or so. And uh, yeah, we don't really know what's happening. Communication hasn't been the best. But we decided to wait it out here, much like many people, because we thought, well, we've been waiting this amount of time. We may as well stay and see what happens. We don't want to leave the queue and then it reopens. But uh, I don't think it's wind related now. Well, about five minutes after that previous clip just there, they did decide to start evacuating the queue line. It's not wind related, it's got some other technical problems, but they have gave us PRPs just here, priority ride passes to use on something else or on stealth later on. So at least they did give those out in the end there. It just took so long, like there was just no communication from the start. 
staff in the station room sat there for like 40 minutes just waiting to hear something. Yeah, luckily we were at the steps so we could uh, just sit down on there. But uh, yeah, it took some time. Definitely more announcements and yeah, just coming down, communicating with people in the queue line waiting. But still, at least we've got those. So at least our time hasn't been wasted. We can use them on the swarm or probably um, save them for saw, to be honest, because that queue on saw normally gets pretty busy. Nice to hear Big Bob Jones on WWTP Radio. That was good time in the background. And so yeah, here's a look out over Tidal Wave just here. Not operating yet. Hopefully we'll be open again soon. Uh, to be honest though, with it being chilly today, I wouldn't have been riding it anyway. And Charlotte definitely wouldn't. Uh, now we covered this in the Sparkle Update video that we filmed with Thought Park the other day. Um, what they've done around here is really nice with the exit bridge all being replaced. Obviously it comes to the end of its life and need to completely replace it. I'm so pleased they did that because it's a big part of the Tidal Wave experience. Um, standing up there on the bridge and getting them views, they could have quite easily not rebuilt it and just had the exit on the other side. So I'm really pleased that they did that. And also going for the Pier 13 branding back on there as well. Well, in general, the tidy ups that have been done in this part of the park. Uh, we had a look in the KFC the other day, that's all been done out in there. All kind of cleaned up on the front there with the shark as well. And yeah, it's looking really nice. And for me, just to have this view back without that Angry Birds entrance port is great because yeah I really wasn't a huge fan of that this view is much nicer again now Mr. Monkey's Banana Ride oh I love this soundtrack there it is looking nice and fresh let's have some good TLC nice little family ride right in the heart of the park Mr. Monkey's Banana Ride still going strong of course based on the old Thought Park Rangers and as we turn the corner just here, look at Hyperia. I am so excited for it to open later this spring here at Thor Park. Saturday today, working on the bottom of the lift hill there by the looks of it. It looks huge when you turn this corner. It really does. And this is looking great around here, all the Burger King done. We saw the finishing touches for this taking place the other day. And this is looking really nice and fresh. And the same with the toilets over here as well. Signage on there as well. Looking really nice. I mean, look at that lift hill, Charlotte. Oh no, it looks amazing. Also, they've uh, done the game store just over here as well. Victorious Games, it says just there. With a nice gold and black branding on there to give us an idea for the overall look and feel of this area. Looking fantastic. And with the sun shining, you really get to appreciate Hyperia in all of its beauty. And all these crazy elements. I just cannot wait to be making our way up the lift hill and heading down that crazy first drop look at it just over there and the size of these elements especially the stall here looks phenomenal really excited for that and of course that outward bank turn over there at the back just to the left of the screen really is going to be an awesome element on this ride and just with the lap bars as well there's so much hype and excitement down here at Thorpe Park today and for many people it's the first time that they've seen Hyperion in person it looks great it really does and yeah from further back here actually it looks even bigger than when we we're on the construction site just a few days ago um, and check out that video if you haven't already seen it but it was on the other side of the fence on the balcony and we got to see some of the lower groundwork taking place for the queue line the shop and also the station but from here I think the further back you go actually the bigger Hyperia looks and as we come a little bit close to the fence just here you can see how a lot of landscaping has started to go in all the trees bushes and some rocks as well I'm really hoping we see them do this underneath the rest of the coast I mean I'm sure they will do um, yeah all this landscaping will soon start to grow and look really nice around Hyperia as well just can't get enough of Hyperia and seeing it from here in the park as well is fantastic look at that drop up the top there it's gonna be insane coming down there with just a lap bar, it really is. I said it a few times now, but I'll say it again. One of the best first drops in the world I think we're looking at there. After spending so long over winter watching the construction down Monk's Walk, the public footpath next to Thorpe Park, it's just great being able to see it up close and appreciate it from here inside Thorpe Park. I look, I saw the ride just over there. We're probably gonna use that priority pass that we got just from the QE back over on Stealth for saw. See how saws riding this season. How am I going to get a saw head? That's the question. Certainly when we get one of them on Hyperia though, Mac rides should be really nice and smooth. Can't believe the scale of it. To have something like this in the UK is really exciting. Right next to it, Samurai's not open yet. It's having its repaints and that TLC. See, I wish it was all done over winter, ready for the start of the season, but I'm glad they're doing it, especially with Hyperia being right behind it. You know, anything around it really needs painted up and looking fresh as it's really going to stand out, you know. So I'm really pleased that's been 
gun and also in its original um, red and black colour scheme as well. Who remembers riding Samurai Chessington? I certainly do back in the day. Yeah, it's advertised on 65, so I think we'll use that pass just on here, mainly because it seems to move so slow. Good thing is though we saw it does still have that single rider queue. It's definitely worth it if you don't mind sitting apart from your friends or if you're visiting at the park on your own. <laughs> Yeah, the wind has got pretty bad, the rain's coming down. We took a bit of shelter to say, and we ran to the umbrella to get undercover. How was your ride on Saw? Oh, it was rough. I just don't enjoy Saw that much anymore, but the views of my period was amazing. Oh, this weather now? Oh, like, crazy. Yeah, that's the thing, it's changed Saw the ride forever. When you're on there, like you're just looking over at Hyperia, you get some awesome views. And also with that off-ride footage there, why me? You really get to appreciate just the scale of Hyperia. If you look at that drop now on Saw, it looks tiny in comparison. Oh. This is crazy. I think all the rides will be closing now. I'm just so glad we had our ride there on Saw before this because look at it. Like it's throwing it down, it's wet, it's windy. Oh my god. Yeah, I reckon they're gonna be uh, downloading the rides and temporarily closing with this because yeah, that wind's really just picked up and the rain's coming down. Oh, that view though, look at that, Saw and Hyperia. All these off-ride shots, completely different this year now with Hyperia in the park. Oh, 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 look at this. Oh, it's coming down now. Look at it across the water just there. Yeah, it looks like rides are being downloaded now, of course, as expected, just to get people off and get people undercover. Woo, this really just came in from nowhere. Oh, that was wild. We was under the umbrella for about 10 minutes just there. It's still raining and it's quite windy, but we thought I'd have a bit of a stroll now because it's not too bad compared to how it was just a couple of minutes ago. Look at this incredible view of Hyperia. I love this angle of it here. Probably my favorite actually in the park because you get to see the drop kind of head on and also saw the ride just in front of it there as well. But yeah, it looks amazing. I am so, so excited to ride it. And comment down below if you're going to be making the trip this year to Thorpe Park to ride this new record holder for the UK. It looks amazing, it really does. Uh, honestly, what a view of it from here. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, we've waited it out for about 20 minutes or so inside the dome. And the good news is the sun seems to be coming out again. Rise the attractions coming back online. To make our way over here to the Swarm, opened here back in 2012 as the UK's only wing roller coaster. And that's still the case today, all these years on. Oh, he's so fast off the dock. We're really looking forward to getting back on this. Love the Swarm. It's actually my favourite ride here at the park. Let's go and join the queue. I see how long we're going to wait for this one. We're going to be getting on the swarm just here. They've just played an announcement and said that it's not going to be opening anytime soon because it's too cold. I mean, it's 10 degrees, so I don't think it's the temperature. I think it's more the wind, really, why it's closed. But again, it is understandable, especially with the weather today. It's one of them things, isn't it? See, it looks like they're just starting to either re the queue line or people are just leaving after that announcement. Yeah, not the best start of the day down here at Thor Park. Today, though, it's not really their fault. Um, the weather, it is what it is, isn't it? It's just a shame that it's fell, that the weather's so poor on uh, yeah, the opening day of the season. Tidal wave's open, though, and it's loaded if you fancy that. I will not be going on Tidal wave. I will not. Oh, be my going God. There. That is the I'm never going on Tidal wave again. We've had a few comments and it's like, are you going to be going on Tidal wave again? I will never be going on Tidal wave again. Why? It's so wet. I just don't like all the water coming over. So I won't be going on. Yeah, it's not just that, you have got a fear of like the water coming all over your head and face yeah, having as well. like the panic of all the water just coming from nowhere. I just don't Oh, there you go. That, got, that, that was full on, that one. I wasn't expecting that shot. I was like, whoa, God, I will never have that never. again. Uh, we'll be able to see what happens with the swarm. I don't think there's any point in waiting around, to be honest. We may as well go and have a look around other things. Maybe we'll go and have a look in the uh, the dome shop, actually, see what new merch there is up there. And on our way up to the shop, just wanted to show you another view there, looking over at Hyperia, and just how it's changed the skyline forever here at Thorpe Park. 
let's have a look then inside of the island shop just here oh and straight away notice the old brand in there the infinity branding for thor park i do miss this i really do and as much as you know some of the new branding looks fine i just miss the old logo it was thought part for me that infinity logo i like look that. at that oh 28 pounds and yeah there's a lot of the merchandise of this year still got the old logo for the park on like the bear just here you yeah, know it's nice in a way because you've got a chance to still pick up items with this classic thought part look on there uh, which i do miss you know a lot i really do i think you know, the new brand is nice and colorful and everything but uh it could have had a refresh but i think you know i would have loved to have seen what alton towers did uh where the, you know they upgraded the logo a few years ago but uh, gave it like a modern twist as well because i just down there 50 pounds established 1979 just there and of course thought park's big birthday gonna be coming up this may 45 years and then you've got all your ride specific merchandise just here nemesis inferno 28 pounds there feel the heat of nemesis inferno and <laughs> i do love this new hoodie that they've got just here that's priced at 50 pounds all embroidered yeah the quality of the merchandise certainly a lot better than it used to be many years ago 60 pounds just there for the zip up jacket and again that's embroidered on the front just there love this mug i think this is really nice it's priced at 12 pound but i just love the detail into it all the way around there's just something there volcano awesome. on there like as well that. and you've got more of the classic style with the coaster on just there got the snow globe just at the top there as well the power of 10 colossus 28 pounds that's quite nice subtle as well with that one with colossus in the middle oh look at the mug oh, <laughs> that's cool. quite cool all the twirls in it mm -hmm. water bottles just there another mug 45 pounds for that and then you've got the shirts i really like this again it's subtle because if you wore that like on a night out or something people wouldn't think oh you know it's directly thought park but it's subtle you know which is nice 28 pounds there for the shirts <laughs> This saw one. <laughs> I really is. like this mug. It's just so detailed. It's good, isn't it? It is. I'm so glad we've still got the resins as well, like we can see just down there. T-shirt, 28 pounds. Again, you've got a new saw hoodie just there. And the classic one. They've done one like this for, for many years. But, you know, it's really nice. It's got the zips on there as well, which is good for going on a ride, you know, for zipping your loose articles up before you go on. Amity Racing, Hydraulic Launch, Born to Ride. That's a nice sign, isn't it? For stealth just there. Nice quality, they feel very soft to touch, which is nice. Yeah, that's good, 45 yeah. pounds. Stealth just down there. Love the branding for stealth. 2006 classic. <laughs> Got some facts just over here then. Or the Swarm. Nice grey hoodie just there. Looking pretty good, 50 pounds. Like how you got the facts on the back. Just there as well, 127 foot tall. And you got the gilet just over here, embroidered. Zip on the front. And a nice hoodie as well, what we got? Like a 3D poster, it's only six pound. Nice little memento, but that's really nice. That's good, take a flight into paradise, yeah. the billboard from down there that's in the area. Brilliant. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah. yeah, some good merchandise in here. Obviously a lot of the rice specific merchandise, and there's loads of new things. In terms of items with the new logo on, there's not loads yet, yeah, there's only a couple of bits really. What you got there? Nice water bottle, but it expands out, look. Ah. So when you fill it up and then when you're done with it, you can make it smaller. Oh, there you go, it doesn't take up as much room in your bag. Yeah. Love this stealth cushion just over here, 16 pounds. <laughs> That's fantastic. I love how we're starting to get more cushions from the Merlin Parks. Yeah, some great merch. All they've got with the new part logo on in this shop is the bucket hat just here. And you can reverse it so it's got two different prints. Oh, there you go. There you go. I quite like that actually with the smaller logos I on just there. Yeah, it's nice that is. Yeah, that's all they've got at the moment with the new merch. I reckon throughout the season we'll see it start to trickle into the shops. Oh, and you've also got these new mugs. We did get these in with our little tour the other day. I thought I'd get those in again to show you here. These are great. Fantastic, they are. So much detail has gone into them as well with each individual piece on there. It's nice how, you know, it really complements like the different areas Definitely. and around the ride. Like not just the actual ride train, for example, but the signage around the queue line, the props and theming throughout them different areas. Like the Amity Bugle just down there, Amity Cove. Yeah, they're lovely they are. And this is quite nice. And you get also a first look just there. <laughs> at the trains for Hyperia. So it's be arriving very soon here at Thorpe Park. There goes Depth Charge. Hey, still going after all these years. Looks like the Swarm might be back in operation there as well now. But you know what, we're gonna have a look first 
around Big Easy Boulevard. And yeah, we did have a lot the other day when Russ was kind enough to take us round. A lot of work was still going on to finish it. So we're going to have a look at the finished product now. And yeah, Tidal Wave is open now, just over there. And in fact, there goes the boats. We're seeing it operating without any water coming down the drop. There she goes. Storm surge just over there. And I've always loved this sign here. You are now entering Amity Cove. Brilliant fair opportunity. Let's have a little stroll through. It's not just Mr. Monkey's Banana Ride that we showed you earlier on that they've got for the little ones. We've also got High Striker just off to the left hand side there as well. Hey! <laughs> There's a look over at Storm Surge. Really good to see Pier 13 there then on the brand new bridge. Looking fantastic. That's looking really good. And like I said earlier on, I'm really pleased that they actually rebuilt that because they could have easily rerouted the exit. Hopefully they'll get this Oasis branding removed from on the floor here soon because yeah, that's what's taken away now. And just, yeah, just going back to the normal floor really. I'm gonna have a little look inside the mega store here in Amity Cove, just in case there's anything different in here. Yeah, they've opened up these display cabinets on the outside again now. And of course, Mardi Gras is going to be kicking off very soon here at Thor Park. So here's a look at the merchandise for the Mardi Gras celebration. Quite a nice print. Yeah, it is. Yeah, all the trumpets on there, very colourful. And that's the thing with Big Easy Boulevard. It's the perfect place for all the Mardi Gras celebrations to take place. Let the good times roll. If you like collecting ride socks, well, you'll be sorted this year at Thor Park. Look at all these Stealth, Nemesis Inferno, oh, Colossus. Oh, <laughs> it's all the swarm. Really nice. I like them Colossus ones, actually. And the caps are pretty nice there as well, with all the different ride logos on. And the Stealth one there is probably my favourite. Like the race flag kind of effect. And there's them new bucket hats down the bottom as well. So, yeah, hopefully, we'll see more new merch come online throughout the year with the new logo on. It's all the little details of the theming around here that I really like. like. Look at the vehicle just here, the classic neon sign. And welcome to Big Easy Boulevard, New Orleans. There's the little sign just over to the left there. And this is a really nice kind of transition now from Amity Cove into this and then up into the Amity Speedway with Stealth. It'd be nice if that rope wasn't there they're going across. Maybe that's just temporary for the Mardi Gras stage over there. Yeah, it'd look even better without that cable going across just there. But I'll tell you what, this is looking really nice around here and the perfect place for their Mardi Gras celebrations. Let's go have a look at all the details. Oh, we've got the sweet shop. We was in here the other day when they were still finishing it off. So we'll just have a little look how that's been done. The Easy Boulevard, Candy Pips, Sweet Easy. Nice sign. I don't remember seeing that the other day. Maybe it's gone in since. Do you, Charlotte? No, I don't remember. That looks really nice. Yeah, it's nice. Just little photo opportunities, aren't they? My favourite thing about a theme park has got to be the pick and mix. They're only £7.95 here, which is really good. Alton Tower is like £10. Yeah, they are. Like, yeah. So they're a couple of pounds cheaper. And of course, you get your annual pass discount as well. So yeah, all the selection just in here. Yeah, it's looking nice inside the shop. Right? All the finishing details that they've gone for in here. Detonator is looking awesome with this new theme. I really like it. And I can't believe how much more has been done since we had our walk around with Russ just a few days ago. It looks fantastic. Uh, all the signage just up there. Fireworks testing process. Red, white, and boom, our biggest 4th of July fireworks event. I just love all these little signs. And the fact that they've integrated the cue boards into the boxes for the fireworks there as well. All down here, the actual rockets themselves. Inferno behind it. Really impressed with all this, the Freedom Firework Camp, all the banners across the top there. When we were here the other day, they were actually painting this on. Manufacture the red, white and boom. Yeah, I think that looks brilliant. Just nice and colourful around here, you know, as long as they upkeep it, it'll stay looking really nice this well. Mural on the wall just there as well, founded in New Orleans. Lovely this, it's made Detonator look a little bit less temporary now because obviously all the fencing around here before, uh, we like that silver fence, it looked really temporary. So it's nice how they've done all this. All the way around, a few more boxes of fireworks. Some windows on the side as well. 
really impressed with it. I mean, how nice is this, Charlotte? Yeah, this looks really nice. It's nice to think that they haven't just gone for vinyls and they have actually gone for nice painted on, because that looks excellent. Yeah, that's the thing. It makes a big difference, yeah. doesn't it? No, really impressed with that. <laughs> Loving the fact there's new audio on Detonator as well. Love that hold at the top. Builds up the anticipation for the drop. What a great drop tower. 20 minute wait at the moment. Now shows in the Sunset Cinema are running on the hour every hour. About 30 minutes till the next one. So I think we'll come over and check it out. With it being the new Ready Player One film. We'll see what that's like. Not normally a massive 4D cinema fan, but we'll give it a go. I didn't do Angry Birds for many years. When was the last time you did Angry Birds? I think I only did it once in the years ago. Yeah, a long time, a long time. All oh, this is looking so much better than now they've opened it up. Let's have a little look at uh, Big Easy Bumpers. All the flooring down here, they've done an excellent job with this. By far my favourite entrance just here that they've done out of these new additions. Big Easy Bumpers with a big sign, the keyboard just there as well. Oh, the camera doesn't like that screen, yeah, it's not flickering like that in person. Uh, and then you've also got all the branding around the side as well, which is done really good. Of course, there's the old King Pig Dodgems. So yeah, this was actually brought in with Angry Birds Land when it opens. I'm glad that it stuck around and it's now been rethemed. The cars are looking good as well. Just a nice refresh. It's always a happy day for me when an IP goes and is replaced with something original. Really nice to see. And here's a look over at Double Tea Party. Yeah, they've actually redone all the sides just there. Nice little flat ride. Love the music for this. <laughs> Get a mood in Charlotte. So Double tea party. Make your pinkies up. Yeah, all these facades looking very fresh just over here. Some nice photo opportunities. Down in Big Easy Boulevard. I think they've done a nice job um, with this. Like, transformation from the old Angry Birds land is looking so much better. And we'll go and watch that movie at 3 o'clock and see what that's like. <laughs> da -da 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 this song, Ring of Fire. Look at Stal's entrance, looking nice and fresh. You there looking at Burger King? That's something we've always liked down here at Thorpe Park, keeping the popular brands like Burger King and KFC. Always really good to see. So we'll look down over here at uh, Rumba Rapids, which is closed today. It is advertised on the website as being closed at the moment. So at least they are advertising that. Again, it's a shame it's not ready for the start of the season, but at least there is uh, some clear communication advertising that this is closed at the moment. So yeah, hopefully, We'll be able to get on the Rumba Rapids again very soon. It's not the most exciting rapids out there, but still, it's a nice little ride and you get some good views of stealth. Iconic. There comes Nemesis Inferno again just here. Advertised on 40 minutes now. Stealth said 50 when we was down there just. Definitely want to get on stealth on the swarm. Ideally Colossus as well, but we'll see, we're approaching three o'clock. We've been on two rides. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get on some more this afternoon. Not the park's fault though with the weather. Oh, there's a lot of people outside waiting to go in. So yeah, looking forward to this, the Sunset Cinema. And of course now showing Ready Player One. So we'll go inside, it's just opened up, and we'll share our review afterwards. The 
just come out of the Sunset Cinema, I took a little bit of footage there inside just before the show started, uh, provided with the 4D glasses, and yeah, it was a 15 minute film there, based on Ready Player One, which is a sci-fi film that came out back in 2018. I thought the show was quite good, there was a lot going on, and the effects with the moving chairs, it always gets everyone when the chairs are moving so much forward, back and forth, it's great. It took a little bit of time for the chairs to get the movement, I'd say we were about six or seven minutes into it before they started moving, uh, but they were good, you had the leg tickers on there, there was some smoke and lighting effects, overall I enjoyed it, uh, I'm not a huge fan of 4D cinemas anyway, so I wouldn't really rush back to see it uh, again anytime soon, uh, but you know, it's something else that adds into the park, a nice family offering, and uh, yeah, the storyline of it was okay. The good thing about the Sunset Cinema is, it's not all branded up to just one thing, so maybe they can change it every year or every couple of years, bring new things in there, which would be good to see. Right then, we're going to go for it. We're going to join the queue again for Stealth just over here. It's advertised at 45 minutes. Obviously, they gave us the priority pass earlier on. We used that on Saw. So we thought, let's uh, yeah use it on there because that was a bigger queue. And then we'll get here on Stealth, hopefully now, after a 45 minute wait. Let's go. Weather seems to have picked up now. Oh, you're never going to believe it. The ride's just been downloaded because it started hailing again. Oh no, we'll see how we get on. Yeah, as weather today is not great. Just wanted to show you though the new queue line boards that they've got. And also as well, Wi-Fi routers. Yeah, they've completely updated the Wi-Fi package throughout the park. And we're back in action. Well, we finally got on stealth today here at Thor Park. Zero to 80 miles per hour in 1.8 seconds. The acceleration on there is incredible, isn't it? It was amazing to get back on stealth. I love that coaster so much. It's my favourite at the park. It's even more forceful down at the back as well, so I definitely recommend a back row ride. Saying that, the front row as well for the views is great. But looking across to Hyperia and seeing how much taller even that is than stealth is incredible. What a year it's going to be for Thor Park when that opens later this spring. In terms of how long we waited for stealth, it was about 40 45 minutes and that included about 15 minutes of downtime due to the weather and then the technical issue that there was after that uh, so yeah actually it was overestimated when we joined it so we didn't do too bad 45 minutes uh, for a ride on stealth is definitely worth it a brilliant launch coaster well we just had a stroll over to the swarm and it is closed again so yeah we might get on it this afternoon but there is only 90 minutes left to go we're hoping to get the swarm colossus and lots of the flats in today but yeah because of the weather it's not been our day unfortunately look at high period over there behind storm surge great view of the lift hill and also some of the other elements including that outward bank in there so it's perfect in between colossus and storm surge from this angle Something that I've always loved about Thor Park is the fact they've got quite a few flat rides here, including Quantum just over there. That's nice magic carpet attraction. Whee! Looks like he's running the longer cycle as well. <laughs> Quantum's great. All the trees around it as well. And this is like the flat ride corner here in the Lost City at Thor Park. A look over at Vortex just there, which is closed at the moment. It did have some TLC though, it's part of the Sparkle project like we got told a few days ago. So yeah, hopefully that'll be in action again soon. Looking nice and fresh, painted up and just generally cleaned up just down there as well. Oh, it's really cold and my hands are freezing. And there's Rush and Zodiac in action just over there as well. Two other flat rides down here in the Lost City. Just off to the left hand side, another view of Hyperia there and with some blue skies just behind it there as well. Probably not for long, It'll probably hailing again in a minute. <laughs> Based on today's weather. Yeah, look at that. She's a beauty. Just the one arm swinging today over there on Rush. Not too sure why. 30 minute wait at the moment. Just over an hour to go until right close. Nice to see the painted up Rush though. Looking really fresh. Quantum there just behind it as well. most of the park today apart from one area and that is Colossus which has had a lot of sparkle money spent on it over winter so we're gonna have a good look around here now get some off-ride shots of it hopefully if it's operating it has been down for a lot today looks like quite a lot of the rides mainly because of the weather well here it is testing Colossus the power of 10 
pretty slow that is. Now in terms of the track and support, it's all been painted up down here. And they've done more than half of the layout now, which is really good to see. And here's the Cobra roll just over here. Looking nice and fresh. Everybody always walks up to the left, but there is a path around there, you know. Nobody ever really comes around this way. But yeah, look at this, all nice and fresh. We see some more of the detail in down the bottom. Love this soundtrack for Colossus. Medusa all been painted up down there as well, all around the sides. It's looking really good. I don't think it looks quite as fresh as when it first opened, 2002, um, you know, with all the water features and everything as well. But still, it is looking a lot better than it has done for many years. And there's another angle of Hyperia there. I think it's just showing it, isn't it? In every shot, basically, you can just see it around the park, like, insane. Really nice seeing all of these features down here again. Looking great. And the track itself looks fantastic. It's a shame they couldn't have done the whole track for this winter, uh, but like Russ told us a few days ago when we had the walk around, it would have meant the attraction would have been down for a few months into the season, uh, and they decided to do it over the course of two years instead. Uh, two closed seasons, which I think was probably the best decision to keep it operational. And this is where old meets new. You've got the airtime hill there where the paint changes. And then also on the course screen, it looks like they might have just own the queue lines. Let's get around there and try and get in. Well, there was someone down the queue line just, but they haven't opened it yet. So it looks like they might be doing just a moment. Look at all this track and from three different manufacturers as well. Of course, here in the foreground, Intamin with Colossus, Gerslauer there with Saw the Ride, and Mac Rides behind it with Hyperia. That is a view and a half, and you can see why Thorpe Park are now branding themselves as the UK's most thrilling theme park. Well, it keeps cycling, and we've got nothing to lose, so we may as well just stand here now and see if it opens. Colossus. how loud it is when it comes off the lift chain there. And the entrance looking very fresh here as well. A little bit too yellow, I think. But the park are looking at that. Moving forwards. Let's see if it opens up. It's definitely worth waiting. We're just out the front of the entrance for just under 10 minutes. And they just announced that it is now back in operation. So we should get on this quite quickly. 50 minutes left until right close so you never know if the swarm does open we should get that in and it means at least we'll have done the big five coasters love this soundtrack one of my favorites nice moves from charlotte there <laughs> great view that this is you excited <laughs> i didn't know you were going to say that i love colossus <laughs> let's go bum, bum, bum. <laughs> It is only running on one train though, half capacity. Well, at least we're getting on it. We've waited about 15 minutes. Let's go and jump on Colossus. See you when we come up. operating here at Thorpe Park since 2002. It was the original thrill ride for them back then. And of course, since then, they've built so many other awesome rides. And that's about to get even more spectacular with Hyperia. Uh, how is your ride, Charlotte? It's a head banger, but Sean said to me, I'm riding it wrong, because I put my head right back. You have to stick your head forward a bit. And I did that, and I didn't get the head shake. Oh, there you go, you see. I'm always giving you these tips, like non-wheel seats and all that on woodies. And that's the thing with Colossus. I know a lot of people don't like it, and they say it's too rough. Just try it. Like, 
put your head forwards like that, literally like this. And uh, yeah, that's the way to ride it. You might look a bit silly doing it, but if you have a more comfortable ride, just stick your head forward like that, and you're for a much more comfortable experience. I know I'm in the minority saying it, but I really like that coaster. I hope it stays here. And of course, I would love to see them, um, yeah, have some trains on there with some more comfortable restraints. Yeah, I'd like to um, see that. Like sick at Flamingo Land that's got the lap bars. But you know what? I still think it's a great ride, fantastic layout. Love the drops, all the tunnels and the theming, and it's nice to see it getting spruced up a bit as well. And just around the corner, of course, Black Mirror Labyrinth has now left the park as well. It'll be interesting to see what happens with that space. It was formerly used for Friday Night's Mazes, uh, so possibly we'll return to that, or maybe they've got something else planned. But uh, yeah, Black Mirror Labyrinth is no more. And then, of course, hiding behind the bushes there, Slammer still remains in place here at Thorpe Park. Um, the park haven't removed it this winter, uh, but I believe they have said that they're looking at it for next year, so hopefully that'll be gone, and this frees up a massive space just here. I'd love to see a brand new flat ride here at Thorpe Park in this location, possibly something like an intermittent gyro swing. I think that would uh, be really nice here, one of the large models, especially looking out over Hyperia. Park's really filtered out today. The good thing is because of ride availability, they have gave people a free return visit later in the year. Um, but obviously when you're an annual pass holder, you know, you don't really get anything, which is a shame. I would like to see them look at doing something for pass holders, because at the end of the day, still drive down here and travel a long way, even if it was just like a voucher for the food or shops or something like that, you know, um, because yeah, they do give a free return ticket uh, when the uh, ride availability is poor due to the weather. But yeah, look at that, what a beast. And hopefully next time we're down here, we'll be seeing this beauty testing and another view here onto the construction sites looking at the station for Hyperia you're gonna come out of the station just there bank out to the left and then make your way around to head up the lift hill on this record-breaking UK coaster it's gonna be insane and you can just make out there on the side of the maintenance shed where it says fearless just there as well I'm hoping there's a little bit more decoration to go on there though and of course, Ghost Train's still in action here at Thorpe Park, just over there as well, with a 20 minute wait. Yeah, I think 15, 20 minutes is about the maximum that I really want to wait for that. So yeah, it's not too bad at Thorpe Junction. Anyway, we're going to make our way for one final time to try and get on the swarm. This is like the fourth time we've been over today to try and get it. 10 minutes to go till ride close, and we'll see what happens. But uh, it could be closed again from uh, looking on the app. But you never know, we dropped on quite lucky with Colossus. This is near the end of the day though, so we'll uh, go and see. We have had no time to do any flats, we haven't done the uh, Walking Dead, the ride, the indoor coaster that's just down there. We just not really had a chance today. I think we'll just see from here if the swarm is operating. If not, we could maybe end on the Walking Dead. Stealth sunset just over there. We took a nice stealthy earlier on as well. Make sure you give us a follow over on our social media pages. We'd love to see you over there, bringing the latest updates from the parks and also previews of what's going on in the vlogs. And of course links to all of our videos as well. Look at Stealth. Well, I've been watching the Swarm for a few minutes here and there's been no action. I can't think of the last time I came to Thor Park and didn't get on the Swarm. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting on it again at some point in the near future. We'll be back when Hyperia starts testing. But yeah, I don't think there's any point walking over. It looks like it's done for the day. I think we'll end on the walking down the ride. And whilst we're walking around for our last ride of the day, just notice through the open gate over there, the other arm, the Samurai, the Mondale Top Scan. So yeah, that's just having some work done to it. A bit of welding by the looks of it, some TLC. Then it'll be going back into place. All right, let's go and do the Walking Dead. Apparently there's been actors in here today, so yeah, that should be interesting to see. But they're still in at the end. Five minute wait for the Walking Dead. This is another one that I'd like to see re-themed again now. Something original. Yeah, I think most people have given up today with the poor availability due to the weather. But it's left it nice and quiet for us at the end as we go into the Thor Park Safety Zone. We'll see you when we come off. just had our last ride of the day there the walking dead the ride not the ride that i wanted to do at the end but you know what we had a few minutes just to squeeze one more in and we thought we may as well do something that we hadn't done today and that's the park's indoor roller coaster features no inversions or anything like that if you've never been on there before really it's a family coaster but it's quite a good ride actually isn't it i love an indoor coaster it's got some great elements in there so i really enjoy it yeah there's a really nice drop with some smoke effects very similar to the mummy at universal how it kind of drops down into the vertical smoke machines but it was good to get on 
down there and there was actually three actors at the end as well which does add to the experience when they do have actors in there especially with it being based on the walking dead uh, well there we go that brings to the end of opening day 2024 here at thorpe park it's not been a perfect day but it's not been the park's fault it's been the weather hasn't it today yeah the weather has just been so off and on like we've had sun then we had hail we had wind then it was sunny again so we can't blame the park for that yeah it's been a mix i think between the hail and the wind <laughs> that's caused uh, some of the ride operations not to be great we've had a bit of bad luck today we're walking up to rides then they're being closed and evacuated but the good thing is they do give out the priority ride passes so we didn't waste our time earlier on with stealth this morning uh, at least we saved our time getting on sore earlier on as well and uh, it gave me a bit of a sore head not gonna lie but uh, it was still good uh, getting on there i need to stop using that joke it's getting a bit old isn't it uh, but you know what we've had a good day other than that uh, seeing the updates around the park busy big easy boulevard we saw the new 4d film in there so that was good to see um, the area is looking really fresh as well and in general the park's looking great for this year isn't it yeah they've done some really good improvements which is really nice to see and painting bits up what i want to see with sparkle though is in the future this just happened every winter Definitely. freshening up the park and that's the thing it happens at theme parks all around the world every winter uh, so i really want it to become the normal at uh, thorpe park and the merlin parks in general moving forwards and then of course what has been my highlight of today seeing hyperia there's the beauty just behind us uh, from various different angles in the park it's really changed the skyline forever here at thorpe park and uh, you know what i'm really excited to get on it next time we're down here hopefully it'll be testing we'll capture that and uh, see it uh, we keep hearing the trains are going to be arriving probably in the next week or so which is so exciting isn't it oh, i just cannot wait till the trains start going around it's so exciting just to see how it's going to ride the different Definitely. elements the speed it's going to take them through as well is going to be awesome but uh, no it's been a good day not perfect not how the park i'm sure wanted it to be either um, but you know what we'll be back again soon and we're looking forward to getting back on some rides and yeah we didn't take uh, on the swarm today that's really sad because i love the swarm it's my favorite ride here but it just wasn't meant to be today unfortunately uh, but as always thanks for joining us here on theme park worldwide we've done all the big opening days and uh, it's been really good getting to them all and we've got another one tomorrow uh, which is drayton manor another local one to us we'll bring you the latest updates you've got the wave that's opening this year the reimagined shockwave and also the new coaster which is opening soon as well so we'll bring you all those updates here on the channel thank you so much for your support we really do appreciate it and thanks for joining us here for another video from thought park that leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out there and keep, keep on, on riding, riding. goodbye